Good morning everyone. Today we are going to be testing the most random candy ever. So I just bought a few candy, the cheapest I could find in the city. <laughs> and I put a few of them in the bowl right here. All different kinds. Some are pretty famous, some are pretty much the most unknown candy ever. So let's test it out. First off, this is a um, candy, piece of candy that I haven't tried since years ago. It's like, it used to be really hard to find. It's like the strawberry candy kind of thing, you know? It's like hard here. And I mean, I know this candy, it's really good. So, I mean, I kind of had to buy it. Pretty sweet. All right, next off we have, how about this one? Wow, what is this? This is, let me read this. Menta Helado from Colombina, not Colombia, Colombina, wherever that is. You know what, let me, let me search that up. Put my iPad right here. ID perfect. Let's search up Colombina. There's the place called Colombina in Colombia. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I think I think it is. Yeah, Colombina in Colombia makes sense. But this is a mint, so I mean it should taste like every other mint on the market. <clears throat> Pretty transparent here. Hmm. Alright, let's see if it's a good mint. It's really hard to like crunch in it though because like it's kind of like there's like a sticky part around it and you can't when you when you try biting it it kind of like sticks to your teeth and it's like not not very comfortable you know so like yeah I don't know but apart from that it's a pretty pretty regular mint you know yeah let me finish it off Alright, so I'm back with water because, you know, water is always good. Anyways, we got more candy to test out and this, this piece of candy right here. I'm not American so it's called Rockets. But if you're American, please tell the world, the world what these are and don't say Smarties. Say Rockets, agree with me. Be Canadian. Be the rest of the world. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that was, but these are rockets. Rockets are the most basic candy you'll ever find in your childhood. The most basic Halloween candy ever. Now I know it's April, but who cares? These are pretty easy to like swallow. And like they'll just dissolve in your mouth if you don't swallow them fast enough, you know? <laughs> it's only my right. ouch. Something in my eye. Okay. I 
I'm good. There was something in my eye. It was really annoying for a few seconds. Uh, okay. Okay, now I'm good. Alright. Am I, am I kind of red? Oh, yeah. It's fine. Anyways. Now, see, now I need water because rockets are actually... They're really good, but they're like... They got like an aftertaste that kind of dries out your mouth. Anyways, next up we got, oh, this is one of my favorites. It's Double Bubble. This is great, but I can't swallow this, so I'll have to, oh yeah. Double Bubble, I'm sure you know this candy. It's very, very popular, very cheap. So let's chew the gum. This is gonna break my teeth. So I'm trying to see how much how much juice the gum has so how long it'll have a taste for so far we're at about what like around 40 seconds so pretty good and this is bubble gum so I can try making a bubble right wait, wait right I can do it I haven't done this since like last year but Wait. <laughs> it didn't work as expected, but wait. I mean, this gum is actually the really, really good. It's like really good. It's one of the best affordable pieces of bubble gum ever. This candy, I'm sure you've tasted it before, but I totally recommend it. Let's try another one. Mm -hmm. I don't know, because every time I start blowing it, I automatically kind of close it down right after with my lips. So it kind of like just stops there. Anyways, okay, so next up we have another gum. Now it's it's still the same exact company. It is Double Bubble. I think these are actually cheaper. Um, it's been a while since I've tasted those. I was in high school the last time I tried this. But what's cool about these is inside the packaging, they have this little paper with a joke on it or a funny story so let's let's check out today's little funny story sleep tight pud don't let the bed bugs bite and then whoever pud is he says bed bugs ha you hear that pet bed bugs ha okay wait because the joke is he's literally sleeping with one over here um, yeah, I mean, it's not very funny, obviously. Whoever made these isn't really good at, um, stuff that is funny in general. So probably me, like, ten years ago. Uh, <laughs> anyways, Double Bubbles also have a fun fact of the day on that little paper over here. So today, today's fact is a mosquito has 47 teeth. Did I really need to know that a mosquito had 47 teeth? No, I don't- I don't give a crap. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, bubble, double, double, bubble, whatever. Mosquitoes have 47 teeth. Watch as I... 
will be forgetting this information in about four hours. Maybe less. Or just because I'm saying it, maybe I'm gonna actually remember that until the rest of my life. Um, for the rest of my life. All right. So let's see if it tastes exactly the same. I remember these being like way harder though. There's the piece of paper here. Okay, right. Okay, let's try it. Oh yeah, these are hard. This is hard gum. It's gonna break my heat even more. Mmm. So the taste is a little bit different. Um, it really reminds me of my years in high school. For real. I remember back in high school, I used to like, on lunchtime, I went to the, the store and these candies were like 10 cents a piece. So I'd buy a couple of them. I'd just bring them to class for the last period and just chew gum for the whole period. <laughs> and you know, sometimes I gave gum to more people. So I mean, the taste of this gum right now reminds me a lot about high school. <laughs> this is the official high school gum for me. Yeah, there's water now. I gotta go refill this. Alright, got my water here. Gotta get. Oh wow, I almost. <laughs> Anyways, so um, my final opinion on this version of Double Bubble, it's it's really harder than the other one. I really recommend this one. I mean, it's the same company, so who cares if I recommend each one? Okay. Um, yeah, it's really harder and really like feels uncomfortable, like on this part. Of your mat or this part wherever you kind of chew it the most at the beginning so i mean yeah i don't really, really recommend this one unless you had it a lot in high school and you want to remember how it felt anyways let's let's go find the next candy i want to try um yeah let's go with this one this one is grape flavored and no text on the thing so we have no clue what this is we only know that it's grape flavored and I don't even know the shape because of the paper. Okay, wait a second. Okay. Ooh, alright. So, this little candy over here. I feel like I've seen this before. Oh, there's text actually. I just. Okay, so the company is Fancy Candy. No, it's Sam's Fandy. Wait. Sam. Sam's fruit filled fancy candy does Sam also own a white truck fancy candy you want them candy okay um here's here's what it looks like like can you see it properly here oh wow this is really good focus okay this is little 